Worksheet Perfect Trinomial Question 1. What value of k will make each expression a perfect trinomial? Now here we have six examples and these are the values of k which are the third term in each of these expressions. So I have got a couple of worksheets which are similar in a way that we need to find the value of k to make them a perfect trinomial. And in each you will find the placement of k is different. So here we have placement as the third term, then the next sheet it is the second term, and then we have k in the first term. Okay, So that is how they are similar and the difference is that the position of k is different. Now let's first try to understand what is a perfect trinomial. So uh, I hope you remember a plus b whole square is equal to what? a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now this is a trinomial. It has got three terms so therefore it is a trinomial, right? Uh, now this can be factored and can be written as a plus b whole square. That means both these factors are same, a plus b, a plus b, right? Now at times you could have minus here also, right? If it is minus here then also it is a perfect trinomial. In that case it will be a minus b whole square, right? So, so you can see you can have many different values of k which will give you this center term as plus or minus but result into a perfect trinomial. So whenever a trinomial can be written in the form of a plus or minus b whole square we call that trinomial as a perfect trinomial, right? So that is what we understand by perfect trinomial. Now when we say what value of k will make each expression a perfect trinomial is to figure out a value of k which if you substitute here then it could be factored as a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square. So that is the question for us to understand. Now here we have six questions. You will have six questions in most of my worksheets on perfect trinomials. I will do two of them for you and the rest you have to do on your own. In case you have any difficulties, you can always write your comments and share your views and I'll answer them. Right. So let's do, let's see how to find the value of k to make them a perfect trinomial. So the first one is x square plus 8x plus k. Now we'll rewrite this in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square. That makes our sim uh, things simpler. By comparison, we'll find what k should be, right? Now here, a is k, x, right? If you compare, a is x. So let me write this again. So we already have a as x plus this middle term should be split and write in the form of 2 times a and something else. So a is 2 times, we already have something, which is 4, right? 2 times 4 is 8 and something else is 4 here and x. So 2 times a and b a is x. So let me write x here plus k. Now k I should write as some number b square right. So I, it should be a square here to make it k. So I should write this as b square. I'm just comparing this with this right. Now you can see that b square is what? What is b? So from here, if you say a is x, right? If I write now formula a square plus 2 times ab plus b square, then let's compare the formula. So a is x, correct? So we have a x here. 2 times we have 2 here. So if you compare, what is b? b is 4. Do you see that? So we get b equals to 4, correct? So therefore, I can write this now as b as 4, right? So that means, what is b square? 4 square, do you understand? b is 4. So this becomes, so b becomes 4. So I'll write b as 4 in this formula here. So I get what? I get x square plus 2 times 
4 times x plus 4 square. Do you understand? 4 square. Now that means k should be equal to 4 square, correct? Which is 16. So I say k equals to 4 square, which is 16. So I say k equals to 16. That is what k value is, right? So k is plus 16 for you, correct? So, so you can rewrite this equation with k as 16 and you will find that this becomes a perfect square, right? Let's do that part also. Let me rewrite this equation in a different ink for you. So it is x square plus 8x plus 16, correct? Now if you factor this, what will you get? You will get x plus 4 whole square, right? So this will result into, let me write here, x plus 4 whole square. So that becomes a perfect trinomial for k equals to 16. So I hope you understand the way I have explained it, how to find the value of k, right? In very, very simple, simple steps, okay? Now let's do the another example and then see if we really get the process. Now here I am again writing this in this form, a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? Now, so this is x square plus 6 can be written as 2 times 3. That is critical, right? And then we have x and y. So normally we write x at the end. So let me write y first, right? Times y times x plus k. This time I'm just putting k as k, right? Okay, so this is another way of doing the same thing. Now, you see a is what for you? a is x, so x and x, we already have a, that means we already have a. Now 2 is already there, so left, whatever is left here for us is actually b, right? Is actually b, 3y is b. So what should be k? k should be 3y square. So we can rewrite this equation as x square plus 2 times 3 times y times x plus 3y whole square. Do you understand? Now if you see a and this is b 3y, 2 times a and b 3y, you get the same equation, right? And if you really factor this, you'll actually get x plus 3y whole square, right? You'll actually get this. Okay? So you can see what is the value of k. k is this whole thing. k is 3y square. Do you understand? Many times I have seen students making a mistake at this stage. Sometimes they forget to write y square and sometimes they just write 3y. So the k value is k equals to 3y square. And what is 3y square? It's 9y square. So that is your answer. k is not just 3y, it is 3y square. So that is your answer the value of k. I hope you understand what I have done here to find the value of k. I will recommend you to see the video once again, follow each step and then there are two different methods which I have done here. Whichever you appreciate more, use that and do the other four questions yourself. Thank you and enjoy this journey of finding the value of k to make each trinomial a perfect trinomial. Thank you.